Hey what's up guys so today I want to show you how I want to show you the method that I use to texture this building okay so let's get to it so for the demonstration I'll be showing you how I texture this building okay because if I want to show you how I texture the castle just now it will take a long time to finish so let's get to it so for for the requirement to do this texturing this way of texturing that I want to show you is you need to you need to get the node system that I, I made from Gumroad or Bender Market you can get it for free okay so what you need to do first is just you go to file append and you append the master material blender file that you can get it from Gumroad or Bender Market so append this one go to object and append the master material object so we'll get you will get this uh, ball over here this sphere so because I already append just now so I will open this one okay so basically the master material will only have this one material so when you you can go here uh, you can isolate this one first and let's see what you can do with it so go to the shading workspace <coughs> so here you can see it's the node system that I made it's a vertex painting texturing method okay so you will you can use as uh, as more as much as four textures to blend together to make a really nice texture texturing ah. so the you, you will be blending it by using a vertex color okay later in the demonstration you will see how I do it ah. okay so first of all what you need to do you need to you need to get at least three at least two textures three or two or more ah, until three yeah until four sorry so for this demonstration i'll be getting four textures eh, three textures and the textures and all the texture i get it from pixel bridge okay so press add and you apply the texture over here and create and add with it bricks okay so I, I actually i already i already replaced all the textures into this this part this uh, node okay so but i just i i'm just going to show you how i do it ah. so first of all you go to the first texture that you want and you press ctrl c and then you go to master material go to the main and then you go you press tab you remove all the existing existing textures textures press x and then press ctrl v to paste okay and then you hold alternate make sure you turn on your node wrangler add-on so you hold, hold alternate and right click and drag it like this to connect all the vector vector point to the vector point okay vector output to vector input and then you connect this color output to color input and this one okay so for this one is for AO all right so this one is a combination of albedo and AO so that's why we need a multiply a mix mix color mix RGB node to combine it together and then you connect roughness to roughness and normal to normal so you repeat the same step for so you repeat the same step for the, the other textures that you want and that and same goes as for the moss but the moss I for moss I already uh, I already apply the moss texture over here so you can use this one or you want to use your own texture is up to you okay then after you finish uh, replacing all the textures for the one that you want with the one that you want you we can go to over here and here is the the masking system lah so this is the vertex color vertex color node so we'll be you make sure that every time you add a new vertex color option a vertex color over here uh, the the naming you you just leave it as the default ah the default name which is call and call dot port dot zero zero one because um, i already set it set it up like that ah. so you just leave it like that so here is the mask you can control the mask you can re replace the mask texture with the texture that you want any mask texture that you want but for now I, for this demonstration and for the default one I just leave it as 
the magrif masgrif texture lah for it okay so over here is the AO so this this AO node is for if you have a building just now right if you see this, this building and all the AO will will have this will use this texture lah. so it will, will it will give the dead effect on it okay later you, you can see yeah so you can control the the contrast or the strength of the dirt over here with this color ramp okay so for now i will turn on the ao ao option and screen space okay so now let's get to it so i'll be i will only show you how to texture the building not the other parts because the all the other parts the method is the same ah. okay so go to layout press slash to unhide this one and you can hide the master material then you select your concrete your your asset and you can you apply the master material over here all right after you apply your master, mater master material make sure you press this number number button just press this and name it to whatever name you that you want concrete house underscore or, what, uh, or just concrete house ah. okay then go to uh, material preview so i think it's easier for you if you get uh, 3d rotate H sorry hdri rotation rotate add on this one rotate and hdri you can get it from gumroad i think if i'm not mistaken uh, because this will make it easier for you to rotate your light lah. okay just hold control alternate and left click and you can rotate your your light okay so now let's get started after you apply your the material you go to object data properties make sure you select your concrete house and then you go to vertex colors and you add two sorry add one first so add one vertex color so now for the default vertex color if you go to uh, solid view and you press Control tab and vertex paint you will see the default vertex color is white and if you, you go to the tool basically this one should be white lah it's actually white lah okay so this is the default one so make sure you go to the black the black color press x press x to go to change between white and black so you go to black and then you go you press shift k to make everything into turn to black ah all right so before before i continue with the vertex painting i want to show you how i did the uv so the uv you don't have to rearrange or you you don't have to re to arrange the uv inside the square you can make it like everywhere you want to put it's up to you because it's um, it doesn't really use the space over here is it's based on the the vertex paint that you put okay so that but you have to make sure that everything is connected ah like for example this building right everything is connected so that it can remove the seam ah. it can reduce the number of seam okay but make sure it lo it's logical lah. all right so now let's get back to vertex painting okay now everything is black that's good and then you press x then you change this white color make sure you are in the rgb channel you focus on the red red channel first okay why red because if you can if you see here uh, i have uh, separate the rgb to r g and b so red will give will, if you paint it red you will get this texture the red texture and if you paint it green you get the green texture and if you paint it blue you get the blue textures okay that's why i uh, will start with red and the main the main texture will if if it's black then you will get the main texture all right so now make it make it red first and then start painting but right now you, you can't see the texture right so you just go to the material material preview and start painting all right so i will only paint the the small one because to save time lah so just paint make sure your strength is not that high so you can play with the variation a little bit more okay so now if you see the ao part right you see that there's a dead texture over there now nah, that, that is controlled by the ao node lah so you can change the texture if you want if you don't want then just leave it lah or if you want to change the color you can change the color just just do whatever you want with the node okay so now
we finish painting for the red channel, let's go to the green channel. So you change this red to green. Okay. So let's say you want to remove the texture that you already painted. You, you can press X to go to the black channel again, black color again, and then just press, just paint it again. Ah, to erase the the effect that you already paint. So now I will I'll be adding this green green textures. So green texture will will uh, show the bricks out of this. Okay, so just paint it, paint, paint, paint. And if you think that you don't have enough uh, subdivision, you can just add the subdivision. Uh. Add some add some loop cuts to make your buildings a, a little bit um, nicer, so you can paint more. Okay, so just paint like this. I'm gonna paint here, here. Okay, then here. So you will get that the effect of uh, plaster coming out or worn out ah, worn out plaster. Uh -huh. Okay. So now let's say you are satisfied with your result, if the one with the texture that you have made. Now let's go. Let's get to the moss part. So to add some moss on your texture, you need to go to the vertex color. And you add, you need to add one more channel, one more layer. So call 001. So leave it at call 001. Make sure you select the call 001, and then you press and you make sure that you are on the black color, black color of the vertex paint. And then you press Shift K to paint everything black. Okay. So now press X to go to the green channel and start painting again. So now you can paint the, you can paint the moss. Ah. all what I need to show you what I can show you so basically the advantage of using this method is that you can save your time from doing any UV layout or UV planning or texture planning all that ah. so you just need to make sure your UV is all connected are all connected and then you're good to go you can start you can start texturing and you can have you can get a pretty good result of, out of it okay so I will share the link in the description below so just don't forget to get it before it's too late <laughs> okay so I think that's it from me thank you bye bye